Hey everyone, welcome back to Ayaz Tech. Today we have something really special for you. If you have ever wondered how to make your Angular application pop up with engaging alerts, then this tutorial is just for you. We will be diving into Sweet Alert, a beautiful library that helps you to create attractive and responsive alert messages with ease. Whether you are a beginner or an experienced Angular developer, this tutorial will guide you through all steps needed to implement Sweet Alert in your project. So let's get started. Search for the Sweet Alert, open the landing page of this library. So here you can see that there are a lot of useful examples that you can try. So they also have Angular version as well, Vue.js and React.js, but that did not work for me. So I will just show you how to use their native library in your Angular without using that one. So click on the installation and it will give you the way. Just run this command and it will install the native library in your project. After that is installed, you have to import this in your angular so in my angular component i will import it now here i will use it so let's try to use it in this way so i will create a button uh, create a function show and call this function now let's try to call this function by clicking on a button and call that function on click event and let's now let's try it i have to run it and just serve okay now let's try it click on the cl this button and you can see very nice and ready to use dialog that you can see here so you can add as many styles as you want you can look at different examples so for example if you want to try this one you don't have to pass any option here you can just get rid of this payload and just click the button and you will see the empty dialog you can add a message hello world or whatever you want to show so this is how it will work and after that this is another example so you can pass the type of the dialog that you want this is a kind of question so use it now try it. now you can see that it is showing the question mark and uh, after if you want to show this kind of design then you have to use this one and here you are you can tell the icon you can tell the title you can tell the text that is a main content and you have you can pass the html as well in the footer so let me use that and now click on that you can see you can pass your own custom html and you can do whatever there so after that after that you can show the image as well you can pass the image url image height and image alt so it will adjust everything by itself so let's try this one and now click on that you can see that image is also visible after that we have the custom html description and button with area labels so here you can see that in the main content it is using the html instead of plain text and other than that it has a lot of other options it is it has icon info it has the show close button show close show cancel button so you can configure that that if you want to show close button or cancel button and uh, you can define that if you want to focus on confirm button or not and then you can give it the uh, icon for the confirm button uh, you can uh, give the text for the confirm button and you can uh, give it the area label for the confirm button and you can uh, give it the cancel text where you can also pass the html as well and you can also provide the area label for the cancel button so let's try it this one and oops okay now try it now you can see that all of those options are here. I did not have this font or some uh, icon library available. That's why this is not working. So I will just remove it and I will just have the cancel text. And now let's try it. You can see I have the cancel button. And uh, let's try focus confirm. Uh, let's see what happens if I do that. So you can see that it has now focus on the confirm button already by default. 
you can hide the close button as well so let's try you can see that close button has been hidden you can also hide the cancel button as well so now you can see that cancel button is also hidden so this is very customizable and very scalable you can easily handle uh, a lot of cases so in this you can see this is another version of so you can add buttons and after uh, so this is very useful if we have save don't save and cancel button so you can track the events as well on this dialog button so for example after somebody close the dialog you can check if uh, they did confirm or not or if they deny from that dialog so let's try this is also very interesting and very helpful in real world applications so for example you have a products uh, page in the admin where you are going to delete a product if you click on the delete button it will show this dialog and it will confirm you that if you really want to delete or not then you have to confirm that so here you can we have you can see we have title show deny button show cancel deny button text etc and this is dot dot then so this will give us uh, this is actually a promise that you can resolve by using dot then and now now let's try here you can see uh, if i click on the save button then you can see it will trigger another dialog uh, another alert with the saved dialog so that is also very nice ui behavior that it is saved and if you cancel it then it will show another dialogue or alert with the different view so this is very helpful and as it has the promise so let me try to use it use await here async i don't know if that will work so let me just experiment with that so let response await and here actually this should be result and now let's try it so yeah it is working so that is excellent so it is now working uh, in this way as well you can simplify your code by using a weight just click on the button and after you uh, this promise is resolved it will check if it is confirmed or denied and it will show the relevant data you can also customize the position so that is also another nice option so let us try that now let's try it you can see that now it is showing on the top right to make that possible you can add the position top end you can also use other position as well like top left like this so you can use any other and here we have a lot of other icons that you can use if you want to and you can decide if you want to show the confirm button or not so and also you can set up a timer that after how much time it should hide the dialogue so for example right now it is 1.5 seconds so it would be hidden automatically after that time period you can customize it if you want to and after that we have custom animation so you can also add custom animation very easily so let's replace it with this one and now click on that you can see that animation is different than normal one so in the show class uh, it was trying to use the animation.css that is another library that you may try to use if you add this library it has a lot of animations so i don't have it installed so it will not work so i will just skip this one and after we have the confirm dialog with function attached to confirm button so this is kind of same thing that it will show the another dialog when you click on the confirm and after that uh, and by passing a parameter you can execute something else for cancel okay so this is also same kind of thing that we have discussed already and 
after that we have the custom image you can add the custom image so this is also very useful just add the image url width height and you can add the title text etc so let me just try it in my code and you can see that it is working nice after that we have this one this is also very looking very nice uh, maybe it will not work for me because I don't have these images so but it is cool you can add uh, the background image or you can change the background image so let us try to use it let's see how does it behave up without the image and let's see yeah it is still looking great without images so you can add images if you want to it also has the rtl uh, language support so if you add something like this it will automatically uh, fix the alignment for the language it also has the ajax request example you can uh, use the hook so for example pre-confirm so when somebody clicks on confirm as soon as they do that it will call this function automatically and once you get the response from this it will let you access this uh, call this function all right that's it thank you so much for joining me in this tutorial on how to use sweet alert in angular i hope you have found these insights helpful and now you can spice up your application with sleek and professional alerts if you enjoyed this video don't forget to hit the like button share it with your friends and subscribe for more tutorials like this one have any questions or suggestion then drop then drop a comment below and i will do my best to assist you thanks for watching see you next time goodbye